All right, this is Mofo Sudat, and today we're going to be looking at the November Loot Crate. This month's theme is combat. So let's see what it has in store for us this month. Opening it up. And ooh, this looks pretty chill. It's like a beaten path kind of thing. There's several items in here. First one is a really cool shredder sunglasses pair. So, mm, getting stuck already. So, it's basically a regular pair of oversized sunglasses um, with Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles logo on it. And you just have it's screwed on here, here, and here. Deep shred head. It's gonna look cool on the beach. <laughs> That's cool. Now, this one Blizzard, the cute but deadly Series 1 figurines for ages 15 plus. You can get any character from the uh, Blizzard series. There's Kerrigan, there's Arthra, Cervantes, Saragul, Murloc Diablo, a loot crate exclusive of Murloc, regular Murloc, in purple, and another variant of Arthras. So let's open this up, see what we get. So the loot crate exclusive should be an orange version of Murdoch. The bag looks cool. It has uh, all the characters on it. You can't really see that well through the foil, but it looks really cool. It has all the characters on it fighting each other. Kerrigan against all four on the side. Let's open this up. One, like a bow or something, a little base. It, yeah, it's a little bow. But basically, this is the head can move up and down, side to side. So basically, this is Sylvanas. So it comes, so there's five figures of her in the 36 lot so let's see if we can open up these things so there's one here that attaches directly to her cape so then you oh boy cape seems kind of flimsy there we go but at least she'll stand her bow. I don't know how she's gonna lift. She has very tiny fingers. It attaches. To which side does it attach to? The right side. So by the fist plugs in over the Indents? No, just... There we go. So it looked like this. If I had more light. So there's Sylvanas from Blizzard. We're seeing it over here. Moving this back a little bit. Here we can see the pin. Blue Crate November 2015 Combat pin. Now here, the Vault Blade Bobblehead from Vault Tech Industries. Opening this up from Vault 111. A little face covering. And see here in all of his Vault 
Tech Glory. It's the Bolt Tech Bolt Boy. Get back there. Now, this is the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 pin of a Mockingjay. Made in China. So this is promoting the new movie. Now this is the gift of geek from Loot Crate. There's holes on the back. Ah, yes. Happy Holiday Looter. So we can re-gift any of the loot that we've gotten. There's two, four different people. That's pretty chill. On the back, ooh. These are the cute but deadly uh, magnetic stickers. You can take these out because they're pre-cut. And then you can, like, stick them on your fridge and have your kids play with them. So that's cool. So, it's her right there. You can't see her face, though. Go to here and here. Before we look at this. Now, this looks very Street Fighter-ish. The road goes down in distance here. This Udon from, published by Udon. The Capcom number one issue, the Street Fighter Hyper Looting. And there's all the characters M. Bison, Guile. Uh, so that's cool. Made by Molin, Chamba, Huang, Steinbeck, Vo, and Ginswin. Vo is the artist who, who inked this. So this is the magazine, you look full scale, it's like Mad Max kind of thing, there's Brew, Nuka-Cola, Archer, Sniper, Bulk Tech Guy, Warrior, kind of looks like Critter, Casey Jones-ish, but, ready for combat, and then this is the last month, Loot Crate, pictures, Epic video game rivalries: Ken Ryu, Scorpion Sub Zero, Mario and Bowser, and Red and Blue, or Ash and Gary, depending on if you like the manga or the anime better. So this is Loot Crate on YouTube. So this is the videos they uh, they do. So they do the theme videos, which basically shows what the th Loot Crate it is, and there's the Edu Crated. So it's like talking about like uh, uh, a couple months back they had a Pokemon Crate. That's where this film talking about Squirtle and the Pokemon franchise. And this is Looter News. Unbox with Loot Crate and Theodore Tux. Smells No. And the best video game show ever. And here's the Mega Crate, which I really want it. A Mega Man helmet that's wearable. wearable. This one was we gotten before the Mega Man replica helmet. I got roll version, red version. Street Fighter 5 collector's edition with the stuff and a joy and a joystick. The uh, God, I forgot what it's called now. But now they have the mini mega crates, and there's kids versus kids. The article they usually have, and then an interview with Kyle Edwards, which is pretty cool. In WWE, it's an interview, so it's a Q and A, and now it shows off what you get: the magnet set, the bobblehead, <laughs> the shredder sunglasses. Actually, is the pin. And the Hyper Looting Crate comic book. So, this is actually, unlike the others, this is an original comic book. So, let's read it. So, what happens when actual Loot Crate employees team up with the heroes of Street Fighter to crush the Sinister Shadowloo and save the world from total annihilation? Well, it might be Doomsday, but for whom? We're not saying. So, you just have to read this original comic to find out. Which I think is pretty cool. So here's the mystery figures. Ah, 
orange is this guy, the blue would be this guy. This is the regular figure. All right. There's four of these. God damn. And the pin. So here is all the figures you would get if you got the Cupid Deadly Series 1 figures. Because it's, as always, any mystery figures are always random. So, this is my folks. See that? And I hope you enjoyed this month's uh, Loot Crate. Um, I don't remember the theme for December's, but it is a uh, holiday theme, no doubt. Um, in January. No, December or January, the winter month. Then there will be the uh, Marvel Collector Core with the um, the Guardians of the Galaxy theme crate. And there's been like a lot of other crates that have been coming out, like the Japan crate, Pokemon crate, Yu Gi Oh crate, all those other crates. But, uh,. Loot Crate has also been expanding out on their stuff there. They just announced like a limited edition crates, but they are also coming out with uh, Loot Crate Anime, which is uh, basically anime themed if you like anime more than regular video gaming stuff. But yeah, that's about it for this month. Uh, check out my other video reviews if you like them, and peace.